Why? Because have you ever seen a fight before? You ever seen two sisters fight? What about little boys fight? You seen fights and you grew up probably getting in fights yourself, right? Well, in order for you to physically put your hands on someone, what thoughts do you have to have in your mind first? Say it again. Anger, right? What about hatred? Yeah, you gotta have that too. Well, guess what? If you hate your brother, God says you're a murderer. We're gonna get there, all right? That's a commandment. Read that again. Which he said unto him, which Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. So God says, don't do no murder. Hold that, First John. I think it's chapter two or three, verse 15. Yeah, all right? Three and 15? Yes. We're gonna read it for you. So God says, if you wanna get the kingdom, thou shalt do no murder. Okay, maybe I checked that box, right? I've never killed anyone before. I don't even know anyone that's killed anyone before, right? These are the things that we think, right? But we know plenty of people that's been killed in these streets, right? We know they didn't get killed by, they didn't, some people commit suicide, right? But not everyone you know that's had their life taken from them took their own life, right? Other, some, someone had uh, some, some, some uh, participation in that, right? Right. Well, what does God say about that activity? Read what you got. The book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 15. And you tell me if this is happening in this community. This is where you live, right? Right? I live in a, 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 a different city, but it look not far from this. Right? right? Why? Because this is where the Jews reside. That's right. All right? All over the place. It don't matter where you go. All right? We're going to be destroyed, oppressed in these streets today. All right? Trying to, 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 to survive, to make a dollar out of 15 cents. That's what we're going to do. Wherever you go. Right? We, we ain't getting no inheritances. We ain't getting stuff passed down. Right. Generations of wealth. Right. Real estate. We ain't got these things. Right? We happy with uh, 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 insurance check. That's We happy with that. You understand? Commit fraud. That's, that's We in places where we're willing to break the commandments to make it today. All right? We consider these things. Other nations ain't doing that. Come on. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. God says, when you hate your brother, what are you? You're what? You heard that, sister? So if you have hatred for your brother or your sister, God says that you're a murderer. Right? Yeah. I don't hate nobody. All right. And I love my sister. Good. All right, but we all, unless you're going to lie to yourself today, have had hatred for someone at some point. Right? We have. Someone has done something. If you've been angry before, right? All right. If you say it again, you working on it, right? So basically, what you're telling me right now is that you've never dishonored your parents ever. You have exactly. So if you've done that in some way, form or fashion, right? They told you to do something, right? You 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 didn't want to do it, right? It upset you, right? You you never had. I'm talking about an evil thought. Hatred is in your mind. It's not something that you physically do, right? That's how you express the hatred that you have, right? But when you are thinking or meditating on evil, you understand that's hatred. Right. You you have to, not always is that hatred manifested because we gotta uh, get Colossians chapter three. Well, finish that first, finish that first, then we go to Colossians chapter three. All right, read what you got. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. So just like we read, in order to get to kingdom, we have to keep God's commandments, right? In order to get to kingdom, we have to keep God's commandments. One of those commandments is what? It's thou shalt not murder, right? Thou shalt not kill. You can't be a murderer and get the kingdom of heaven. But what we just read was, when you hate your brother in your heart, what does God call you? He calls you a murderer, right? Now, as far as hatred is concerned, that starts in your mind. That's before you actually go get a gun, all right, and uh, rob somebody or kill them. It's before before you do any of that. You understand? You have thoughts in your mind that tells you, I'm coveting something, right? You have lust within your mind that say, I need this, right? I need it so bad that I'm willing to push this aside, all right, to get what I want. All right, or to make him feel this way, or to get express myself this way or that way. All right, God calls that hatred. All right, Colossians chapter three, the book of Colossians chapter three and verse five. Mortify therefore your members. So to mortify something means to kill. So we gonna kill anything. These are the things that we have to kill. All right, not people. All right, not your brother that looked just like you. Right. All right, or your sister. All right, that grew up down the street from you. Right. All right, come on. 
which are upon the earth fornication but clean it so you gotta murder fornication you know what fornication is all right come on inordinate affection inordinate affection all right that's like a uh, pedophilia all right that's not right that's not according to god uh, a little boy all right shouldn't be dealing sexually with a grown man or a grown woman that's that's crazy to god you understand that's 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 not natural come on evil concupiscence and it's all types of uh inordinate affections out there all right evil concupiscence is that less you have to do it all right come on and covetousness and what covetousness that's when you desire to have something that somebody else has had that someone else has and you're willing to break one of god's laws to get it right you're willing to kill for it you're willing to steal for it you're willing to lie for it right we have a lie for anything not told the truth you understand to get something that we wanted guess what we was dealing with we had that covetousness all right that caused us to lie come on which is idolatry what does the bible call it idolatry you know why it's called idolatry because idolatry is when you worship like fake uh like the sun the moon the stars in order like this could you could worship the sun right that would be idolatry well god calls in order inordinate affections and covetousness and all of these things idolatry because now you're worshiping your own self and anything that you want all right you're willing to push god aside push everything you've learned that was taught to you by your teachers aside to appease your own self, your own mind. So now who are you worshiping? Yes, you, you worshiping yourself. Say it again. The Lord, now you're not worshiping the Lord when you push the Lord aside, because God will say, thou shalt not hate your brother in your heart, or thou shalt not steal, right? God will say thou shalt not steal. Not you personally, right? But what provokes us to steal? We gotta have a desire, covetousness first, we got to have some lust within our members that's going to say, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push what I learned aside, all right, and I'm going to go after what I think I need because I know better than God. I know better than my teachers, right? This is what we do. This is what we all do. We've done it before. We're guilty of all these things, all right? We're going to get there. Read on. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. Right, so we're disobedient when we have the evil concupiscence. We're disobedient when you have same-sex marriage. That's disobedient to God. All right, you can't live your life that way. All right, when you're having sex and you're not married, right? That's hatred that you're, that you're, that you're showing when you do that. That's hatred to your own people because you're destroying your nation when you do that. When you have sex, all right, and you're not married, so the person you're having sex with is not your husband, not your wife, all right, you're showing hatred to your nation, all right? What's those children going to do when they grow up? The same thing, right? If you don't want those children, what are you going to do to them? If you don't want the children that you create from the fornication, what are you going to do to those children? Well, would they even make it out the womb? They might. It might come out in pieces. You understand what I'm saying? That's murder, according to God. Murder. You make a child and then you abort the baby. That's murder, according to God. See, many of us today don't realize every time we get an abortion, we committing murder. Right. That's right. That's a whole life right there. Right. Got a heartbeat and everything. Right? But when we do that, we're showing hatred. And it's manifested when we when we when we abort the baby. You following me? So we're guilty of murder and hatred and the list of things when we go out and commit fornication. Because what comes of that is children growing up without the structure and the guidance that they need if they make it out the womb. Bring it up. If they make it out the womb, that's what happens. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.